In this video, we are going to see that if your AC 9560 wireless driver is not working or it shows in the device status that this device cannot start operation failed, the request operation was unsuccessful. So here is a quick solution or a couple of solutions that might work for you. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. So first of all, what you need to do is just open up the start menu and just write here update. Just click or check for updates. And here it says advanced options on the right within this more options. Just click on that. And once you click that, you will see again a couple of options and we need to go in uh, additional options, which is option features. Uh, click on that. And after that, the driver updates, you will see a couple of updates here. Just select that. And whatever driver is recommended, just select that and click on download and install. And once you have completed that, just try restarting your computer and try to access or use that wireless display driver again. And you should be able to use it properly. If not, something else what we can try is, uh, just go to the start menu, write CMD, open up and click on run as administrator. Click yes. And it will show you this command prompt option. Let me just zoom it a little bit so that you can see the commands clearly. Just right here, IP config, give a space and then write forward slash flush DNS. Now, just remember that flush DNS should be one word without any space and the forward slash should be put after a space. Just hit enter and you should be able to see that successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. And after that, we need to write something else as well, which is just write N or NET SH space Winsock space reset space reset hit enter. And again, it will show you that successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to make this effective. So just quickly restart your computer and see if it works. And after that, your wireless AC connection 9560 should be resolved and you should be able to connect to the network, whatever you are trying it to connect to. But if you are still having a problem, what you can do is just do a network reset. But before that, if you don't have the credentials, or you want to note it somewhere else, what I recommend you to do is just go to the Wi-Fi settings and just copy the password so that we can use that in future. It's very simple to do. What you can do is just, let's suppose that we are using this Wi-Fi. Just right click on this, click on the properties, scroll down, advanced Wi-Fi network properties, click edit, click on security and click on show characters. And that should show you the password. But what I recommend you to do is just copy down all the passwords that is essential because after the network reset, all the passwords will be removed. And after that, just open up the start menu and just right here, network reset. Let's make a network reset. Click on that. And like I said, it is showing you the caution that this will remove then in reinstall all the network adapters and set other networking devices back to the original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking uh, software afterwards such as VPN clients or virtual switches. So if the, you are sure that this is what you want to do, just click on reset now, click yes. And it will show you that the windows will shut down in five minutes, but you can do that manually as well. Let's quickly do that. And that's pretty much it. After that, just try using that wireless device or wireless connection, and you should have no problem in connecting that. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next one.